So using the orange whip again, um, just to illustrate how fast I want the grip to go versus the head. So in the golf swing, you're truly trying to transfer energy from you into the club head into the orange bit. The orange whip has a counterbalance to it. So it's trying to slow the grip end and make the orange bit go faster. What a lot of people don't realize is there's not a lot of difference in hand speed between elite players and average players. The biggest difference is how quickly does the player decelerate the handle and make the head go faster. So a lot of players are trying to get speed all the way through here, and then the head doesn't go that much quicker. So if I use the orange whip just to exaggerate, if I'm coming down and I try and stop the handle, you can see the orange piece flying past the grip. That's exaggerated, but that's what we need to kind of feel. That's what's got to happen in the downswing. So to do that, I'm trying to interact with the ground in a way. I'm trying to push the ground to slow the lead leg. It slows through the system, and now I can really slow the grip down. And then the head will catch up and really accelerate in what we call angular momentum flying past me this way. So great drill to do, but important to understand we're not trying to get head speed past the ball. We're definitely not trying to get handle speed past the ball. We're trying to get head speed right around the ball by trying to slow the grip and let the head catch up there. So it's a great drill to just try and feel like you're hitting some shots. There's something to the left of you. You want to swing pretty aggressively and then try and stop before you hit whatever that object is. The club head will get the speed and then ultimately the ball will get the speed, transferring energy from me to the club head.